Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to synchronize automatically the document files and database files. So the first thing you want to make sure is to get your XAMPP up and running. I've installed XAMPP and two modules, Apache and MySQL, are running successfully and make sure that yours are too. So the next thing we want to do is open the config file. I can navigate to my file just by clicking on this config option and you want to open this httpd.config file. So here we have to locate the directory. So I'm just going to search for root document or document root. Document root. Here it's showing me the list of the document roots. Where is this document root? Let me find real quick. Now, they're, at the moment, they're pointing to my Dropbox folder, which I've created. Let me show you. I've created this folder just to synchronize my documents and database files. Here I have my HD, HD docs, where my documents and sites are located. And here I have the first and second. Um, by default, your yours might be like uh, you know c colon slash zamp hd doc site something like this, but basically by default it's like this. So make sure you you point to your Dropbox folder this one and the second one. By now we've successfully set up the synchronization with the Dropbox. So whenever you try to continue your local development you can do that on the other machine on other computers in just about anything you want and the second thing if you are going to work with databases we need to take a look at this my in any file I can navigate to that just by clicking on this config right next to my SQL module so I can open this text editor and here I have this folder make sure you point to your Dropbox folder as well for this one let me show you real quick this folder contains all my document files but this one contains the database files so your website usually consists of documents and databases so just point point your database file to your Dropbox folder here and the second one is this it's somewhere here and just point it to your Dropbox folder here and the last one is this so then you just need to stop the servers if they're currently running and restart them again by now your files, your database files, your document files, they're just synchronized in data and they should be working correctly. So if you navigate to files, to your sites, which are on Dropbox, which are on cloud, which means that they're, syn they're in sync in cloud, I can navigate to my sites folder, which is this folder, and I can click on it it's showing me the list of all folders that I have on my Dropbox. So if we test, I just create one more folder here. Just test if it doesn't exist yet. Just test. If I refresh, it's going to display the folder that I just created. Here is this. So that's how you install and how you make a XAMPP synchronize with cloud servers such as Dropbox. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thanks.